a couple of things happen here. Number one, delivering on the promises consistently over and over and over again helps sets me and Youpreneur apart from the other memberships that are out there that don't do it, quite frankly, that do move the goalposts too often. Um, and secondly, it also helps to train your clients or your members um, in a way where, where they can almost, they come to expect certain things from you at certain times each month or each quarter or each year, whatever it is. Um, and I think it's very, very important to get that done as early on in that relationship as physically possible in regards to having them know what to expect and when to expect it. I mean, that's, that's half of it right there. It's like your favorite TV show. You know what time it's going to be on TV each week, what channel you've got to tune into, um, and uh, you've got to turn up if you want to watch it when it's live. Otherwise, you, you, know, you record it or whatever or watch it on, you know, on demand or whatever. But ultimately, I think it's, part, it's, it's a very important part of that process, and it keeps people around for longer as well. All right, so if you're looking at um, you know, delivering on our promises, do we want to go back to the very start of uh, you know, making the promises, setting expectations, and, and what, is the, what is kind of the, the process maybe that, that you go about saying, okay, this is what we're going to deliver, this is when it's coming up, this is it being delivered, and then maybe even any follow-up that happens post um, the, the delivery? Yeah, I mean, all, all of the above. You know what I mean? All of the above. Uh, I mean, we generally, you know, we don't create a piece of content for the for the community unless we know it's something that they actually want and need. So we're very, very, very um, aware of what our members are looking for when it comes to specific answers to questions or solutions to problems. Um, for a perfect example, every month we do a live mastermind call with myself and you know a whole bunch of people get on live with me. They can also watch the replay as well. But um, at the beginning of that call every single month, I do a little segment, a little coaching segment, segment called what's working now with. Uh, and we always, you know, you can complete that sentence with whatever people have kind of upvoted inside of the community for what they want me to cover. And all it really is is a handful of tips and tactics that have worked well for either myself or somebody else that I know that's doing specifically well on that specific topic. Um, this month, for example, it was podcast artwork. Quite random. But we've got a lot of people inside of the Youpreneur community that are building their personal brands and having a podcast is a great way to be able to show up on a regular basis, provide great content to a wide audience, um, and, and to be seen as an expert and an influencer within their market. And so, you know, one of the key elements of launching a podcast is to make sure that your podcast artwork looks good, it looks professional, it's on brand point, and that people are going to be able to kind of see it easily. You want it to pop when they visit, you know, the iTunes kind of search results or whatever. And so that's what we covered for 10 minutes at the beginning of this month's call just a few nights ago. Um, and it was, like I said, it was voted by the community. So it's, it starts with really only just delivering what people want and need, first and foremost. And then secondly, delivering it, like I said, same time, every single month so they come to expect it. Um, and then obviously, do, you know, from a follow-up perspective, we have you know, our private forum, uh, which is plugged into the community. It's not a Facebook group or anything. I highly recommend that nobody does that if they're running a membership, uh, particularly one that they're charging for. Um, but ultimately, what we will do is we will link under each piece of content within the library that we create and update on a monthly basis to the you know the direct forum post related to that specific piece of content so people can get into the forums ask additional questions maybe share their podcast artwork which has already started to happen inside um and uh you know kind of ask feedback and things for like that 